Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today we're going to talk about vitamin D and weight loss. It's pretty well known that you tend to be hungrier and gain weight in the winter time, and you tend to be less hungry and less weight or lose weight in the summertime. It's also been noted that near the equator, people tend to weigh less than people do away from the equator. So the farther north or south you go away from the equator, the heavier people tend to be. This actually may be vitamin D related. Vitamin D is well known as the sunshine vitamin. When you're out in the sun and you suntan, your body actually is able to produce vitamin D. So in the summertime, your body's vitamin D levels are higher than they are in the winter time. It was noted that people lost weight when they were given vitamin D. They did a study, they looked at dieters, they did not intervene or give any counseling, but half of the people in the diet group were given supplemental vitamin D, and the other half of the people were not given vitamin D, and the people who took extra vitamin D actually lost more weight. We as a population are out in the sun less. We go from an air-conditioned house to an air-conditioned car to an air-conditioned office and back home, and we don't go out in the sun. Uh, the sun has been told that it's bad because of skin cancer, which is true in premature aging. Uh, we have better sunscreens than we used to have. So as a whole, we are more vitamin D deficient than we used to be when we were outdoors, when we were a more manual labor working population before we started putting sunscreen on our children and obviously we're a much heavier population than we used to be as well and this may be partially vitamin D related. My personal theory is that vitamin D helps our biological clock determine what season we're in. Like a plant or a tree knows when to grow leaves or lose leaves based on the amount of sunlight we have, our body can actually tell seasons or going into a season based on our vitamin D level. So as fall and winter approaches, as the sun is less plentiful, our vitamin D levels would drop. And that might have signaled us to go into hibernation mode and trigger us to eat and gain weight to make it through the winter. When the spring came around and the sun was more plentiful, our vitamin D levels went up and our brains told us that we didn't have to worry about surviving the winter and we were less hungry and we ate less. So you probably should be vitamin D supplementing for multiple reasons. I am going to have a video talking about this in the future. Uh, the right amount of vitamin D, you can have that conversation with your doctor, but I am generally recommending 5,000 units a day for my patients. Uh, I would recommend a baseline blood level of vitamin D. And then if you're taking 5,000 units or more, you probably should have periodic follow-up because vitamin D can be toxic. It's a fat-soluble vitamin. So if you take more vitamin D, then you you can use, then your body may actually build it up and become toxic. Another interesting seasonal uh, possibility with vitamin D is, is that we think that influenza season may actually be in the winter time for the same reason. Vitamin D has been shown to improve immune function. So in the summertime when it's sunny and our vitamin D levels are higher, we have a better immunity and we don't see epidemics of influenza and colds and other infections. And in the winter time when vitamin D levels are low because of lack of sunshine, we are more prone to infections and flu season and obviously is in the winter time. Um, if you want to help your immune system and you want to not get sick, you actually probably should reach for your bottle of vitamin D, not actually vitamin D. So look for future uh, episodes that I'll talk about the other possible benefits of vitamin D. Uh, but for now, vitamin D may be helpful in losing weight and it may be helpful in improving your immune system. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.